was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe.
So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not? If that's what Rachel wants. Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Rachel only knew half the truth when she set that fire. What if she'd known everything? I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like that. I hope tonight hasn't messed up Rachel's memories of family trips like that. Whoa. Sarah, maybe Sarah really is dangerous. The Tempest show feel this is so painful to look at. This seems like a James and Rose bookshelf. I can't imagine Sarah here instead. Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. I guess there's worse things than growing up around fancy stuff like this. I can't believe I was feeling goofy enough to draw that just a few hours ago. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. It's so weird to look at this now. It's so weird to look at this now. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay. Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge.
Were you able to find the broom? Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Mr. Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are, too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her, too, you know? I know. Thank you. I'm depending on you to keep Rachel safe, Chloe. I have to admit, he really cares about his daughter. some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through.
Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I think Rachel could use another subject. But which one? That's the one. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. I could get grades like this. I just... May you always be safe. Sure. But from who? We were so close to making our break last night. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, the ying and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... cool and light. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. she'll have something from tonight. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. Back on the train, I said... I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes. But it still seems... I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me... When she's ready.
Maybe that nightlight could get Rachel's attention. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that night light. All ready for Rachel's light show. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so... Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call... Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there. Which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all Lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. I don't know. I bet there's like one other chick in Australia who's super trustworthy. No chance. You're one in a hundred infinities, Chloe Price. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone.
The fact that she's here right now, that she came here for me, I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, how do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams. He's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. <laughs>